Los Angeles County is now backing off on a previously announced ban on trick-or-treating this Halloween. Instead, they are strongly advising against it. News Channel 3's Caitlin Thrope reached out to Riverside County to see what they're advising and how people are responding to what will likely be a very unusual Halloween. My wife's already started stocking up. She's already got things up everywhere. So we start early. Miguel Perez and his wife Kaylee are already gearing up for Halloween. <laughs> Halloween's our favorite holiday ever. They're on the hunt for Halloween house decorations and the perfect costumes. But Halloween might look even more scary this year. LA County is asking people to change the way they celebrate Halloween this year. They aren't banning trick or treating, but they are definitely not recommending it. It's a sad thing because they can't you know, go out and have fun as much anymore, especially on Halloween, which I know most kids look forward to. Instead, LA County wants people to celebrate online or in parades while in their cars. They also suggest watching a scary movie at a drive-in theater or go and see Halloween themed art at outdoor museums. We reached out to the Riverside County Public Health Department who was not available for an interview on what their stance is. They gave us this statement. Riverside County is working with the state on this matter and are currently waiting for the state to release guidance on Halloween activities, end quote. Miguel thinks there could still be a way to have a safe Halloween. If cities could designate certain areas like downtown or malls where they can control the flow of people going in and everything, maybe, you know, kind of have like a controlled trick-or-treating. One local mom we spoke with said no matter what the county decides, she's not comfortable taking her kids trick-or-treating this year. I think I, there's a lot of people that probably feel the same way as me, and I would hate to make someone feel uncomfortable. Instead, she tells us what her family and friends plan to do. Circle up our cars and and walk around and toss candy into each other's cars or something, at least because, you know, Kids just want to show off their costumes, like I said, so maybe the kids can each get out one at a time and show off their costumes, something to make them feel special. And she encourages parents to stay positive through all of these changes. It feels like 2020 has robbed so much stuff from us, but I feel like if you can put the positive attitude with it, your kids will feel the same way, hopefully. In Palm Springs, Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3.